this is a tutorial on ambient sound and how best to use it to level up your video edits. Back in the day, typically you'd take your microphone into the middle of a field or a street somewhere and just record that audio for about an hour so you could bring it back into the edit and play about with it. Now with the internet, we don't really have to do this. We can just download anything just like that. But it becomes more of a creative decision of what type of ambient sound to use that's gonna complement the sound that's already there. Or something to enhance the edit or to set the tone. Let me just show you what we're working with first off so you can see how ambient sound can make that much of a difference. So here's the sequence without the ambient sound first. AI is now part of everyday life driven by the emergence of a device ecosystem, including Alexa, Siri, and Google Assistant. And here's the exact same sequence, but with the ambient sound pulling it all together. AI is now part of everyday life, driven by the emergence of a device ecosystem, including Alexa, Siri, and Google Assistant. You'll often find that without any ambience in the background of an edit, especially if there's just a voiceover, or there isn't a music track playing throughout, it can sound very dry and kind of broken and really difficult for the viewer to digest. So I want to show you how ambient sound can be used within an edit to act as the glue that pulls everything together and sets the tone and the pace of the edit to lead the viewer through all the cuts nice and smoothly. So we'll start on the second half now and we'll put some b-roll clips together with the with the voiceover and then um, we'll look at adding the ambient sound on the bottom um, so we'll start with the voiceover in the near future emotion recognition and computer vision will scale and ai will have a breakout moment and we'll just drag the audio only down to the timeline and just put it there and we can work on our second half of the sequence here and then when they're both done we can pull them together to make the full sequence what I want to do now is bring up my folder of tricks a lot of b-roll um, and cutaways sort of stock footage that I've collected over the years So I'll just put some clips into the timeline, not worrying too much about the order. I'll just put them in loosely and we can time them better when we can hear it playing. And let's have a listen to that. In the near future, emotion recognition and computer vision will scale and AI will have a breakout moment. And so there's a bit of a, a gasp at the beginning of that, so I'm just going to take that out. In the, In the near future, so we'll have a cut at that break in, in the dialogue. In the near future, emotion recognition and computer vision. Vision will scale. scale. An AI will have a break out moment. There we go. I'm fairly happy with the timing and pace of that. That's the second half of the little sequence. I'm going to bring them two together. Let's just zoom in. Right, so what we're going to do now is select um, an ambient soundtrack to overlay on. We want something fairly mellow, not too intense but have some colour to it. So I'll just play a couple of these to get a feel for them. And 
a nice little bit to note here when you're working with audio. When you load the clips up, you get all the aud audio waves. So you can use the cursor and just click anywhere on the timeline of the of the clip. So if you're looking for a specific impact or a build up, you'll be able to see that in terms of a, a wavelength graph that could help you visually pick out what parts of audio that are going to be going to work for you. I think we found the one. So we'll just drag that on, onto the timeline on the bottom underneath the voiceover audio. So now it's a case of timing it and getting the audio levels right. So we'll take that all the way. Let's see how the levels are now. Yeah, it's totally drowning it. So we'll have to pull the ambient audio down and then go up to the effects controls here. We'll put this down to, well, we'll go minus 10. And while we're here with the levels at the beginning of the ambient sound, just notice how the, the ambient soundtrack has got a little run up into the start of the video. So you get a good one, maybe one and a half seconds of the audio leading us into the imagery. So it sets the tone really nicely. Let's see what that sounds like. Talk. AI is now part of everyday life, driven by the emergence of a device ecosystem, including Alexa. I'd say still a, a tad too high on the on the ambient level. The subtle the better. You wanna just be able to hear it. And obviously if you wanna fill something in, you raise the, raise the levels as and when you need to. I'll just drop that audio a little bit more. Minus 20, should do the job. In the near future, emotion recognition and computer vision will scale. Right, so I think we're pretty much there with the levels now. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with them. What I'll do is I'll play the clip through from start to finish without the ambient sound and then with the ambient sound. So here it is without. AI is now part of everyday life driven by the emergence of a device ecosystem, including Alexa, Siri, and Google Assistant. In the near future, emotion recognition and computer vision will scale and AI will have a breakout moment. And here's a sequence with the ambient audio. AI is now part of everyday life, driven by the emergence of a device ecosystem, including Alexa, Siri, and Google Assistant. In the near future, emotion recognition and computer vision will scale and AI will have a breakout moment. So I hope this helps and you can see how adding ambient sound to your edits can really help the fluency and set the tone and the vibe that you're going for with the edit. If you like this video and want to learn more, let me know what types of things you want to learn within video editing and I'm sure I'll be able to help. Share the love, like and subscribe and share this with anyone else that you think might benefit from it.